It's me, Nate, and here again uh, at Wesley College. And it's that crazy time of camp when everyone's starting to pack up, getting ready to go. I mean, that's why I'm here in the laundry room, just picking up my laundry um, before, um, because obviously I, I hate to put old dirty, dirty laundry in my suitcase. And yeah, um, it's just, it's always really, um, I guess, heart-wrenching to say goodbye after you've made like really close connections, you've gotten to know people, especially like when we've now we've been working with these these the boys here at um, Wesley College, and you know made some really good connections with the students here. Um, it's, it's going to be real real. Um, I'm I'm definitely going to miss it anyways. It's been a real real special vibe here. Um, but you know, on to new things, but on to our rock and this, the training continues. We've got five more weeks, and there'll be that the week of Christmas break in between. Um, but yeah, no, just been reflecting again, and I mean, it was such a special experience while I was here, you know, being able to connect, um, and, and I think I've just been inspired, you know, again, uh, they've given so much, we've been so privileged and blessed while we've been here, and people have just given so generously to us, and you know, I, I, I asked um, the principal, and I said, you know, how can we give you, give back, and he just said, you know, be a good teacher, you know, make, make a, can, um, a strong contribution to whatever um, community that you end up in in Auckland, you'll be contributing to New Zealand and it'll flow back to us in, in the wider New Zealand. And I think that's the thing I want to take away is, you know, how can I do the best I possibly can to give back to New Zealand? And I've, this is not just here, but my whole life I've been privileged and blessed to be brought up in such a wonderful country as New Zealand. And so, um, yeah, that's my reflection for today, I guess. Also, I mean, just um, the prize giving was really cool yesterday, seeing the kids getting the lays and getting this celebrating together. And, um, yeah, it's it's been a real, uh, there have been tons of ups and downs. I mean, I've been called out for my behaviors. And recently, you know, people have been, it's been really hard as well. Recently, people start, like, apparently some people have cottoned on that I have Asperger's. And it's really challenging because... After a while, at first people start to, you know, they don't know what to do. They kind of stay back. And then sometimes, then some people say, oh, are you okay? You know, are you okay? Um, can I, I'm sorry. I'm, I don't want to. And actually, in a way, it becomes really patronizing. It's really hard. Um, I don't know. Hopefully none of them are watching this video. Or don't understand. I, I totally understand, you know, they just want to support me. And they're being very considerate from their own, their own perspectives. But at the same time, from my perspective... It feels like patronizing. It feels like people are saying, "Well, you treat, have a different standard to to approach me because they think that they label me with that Asperger's," and that's why I don't tell. I don't go around actively telling people that. Um, I don't know how I can deal with that or work with that. At this, on the flip side, I think it's it, maybe I should be more upfront and direct. I don't know. I'm try to try to say how. I would expect to be a bit treated. I don't know. It's, it's a tricky one. Anyway, it's a really interesting situation on that end. But um, anyway, I've talked too long. So I'll catch you later. Cheers. Bye.